Code IQ has made its AI virtual call team absolutely free. And in this video, I want to walk you guys through the new and improved virtual call team, talk you guys through some of the pricing and some of the awesome new features that we have within here. We're also going to call the AI so that way you guys can see exactly how it sounds. But if you guys are interested in trying out Code IQ, the number one CRM for the home service space, be sure to check it out first link in the comment section and the description. We can help you send estimates, invoices, collect payments, and even do virtual call team now for free sort of we're going to talk through that so we made a bunch of improvements to virtual call team uh first and foremost this is on the website at myquoteiq.com and if you guys click into the inbox tab here you can then go into your virtual call team so if you're setting it up for the first time it's going to look a little bit different but i want to walk you guys through all the improvements that we made first and foremost we made improvements to the agents so i'm actually going to edit my agent here so i can show you guys all this now you can name your agent which you could do before you can also add in a first message so my agent says hey there darling this is glenda with la pressure washing pros how can i help you today as you guys are going to see my particular agent is an older southern lady and um, i have given her instructions within you know this agent editing to make her that way and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i did so you can now edit the first message that comes up you can also edit the system instructions okay so previously we had a script that the ai worked from and you basically couldn't edit anything within the script you can now jump in here and actually change the script change the behaviors change the responses pretty much change everything so if you jump in here um, you can change these dynamic variables like the agent's name, your company information, um, the services that you offer, as well as locations and, and things of that nature. But what you can also change is the prompt that we give the agent. So if you guys are familiar with ChatGPT and prompting ChatGPT, a very similar situation here. So first and foremost, we have our personality. So you know we have a core identity. We have tone and delivery, personality traits, and all these things are customizable. Examples and expressions, uh, vocal aesthetics. Uh, we then have overall effect, environment, and, and all the things that kind of contribute. So if you guys do end up creating an agent, I highly recommend if you want to edit something, edit the top of this. I wouldn't mess with the whole thing because this even incorporates uh, the structuring of the script. If you know you do mess this up, you can always re restore the defaults. Uh, but like I said, the AI is going to operate off of kind of a script and you don't really want to mess with that. So if you do jump in here to mess with stuff, uh, just be very careful and you can always restore it if you want to. So Change this stuff at your own uh, peril, if you will. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. The next thing that you're gonna need whenever you're setting up your agent is a phone number. Now, whenever you go to get a phone number, you're gonna have to purchase the phone number as well as load your accounts with minutes. This is the only payment that you have to make. So previously, the cost of virtual call team uh, within Code IQ was $99 or $199. And the difference between those, there was a couple of differences. Uh, but now everything's bundled into this one tier. And what we did is, is we made a uh, virtual call team free for every single tier. No additional subscription is necessary in order for you to utilize this feature. But now what you have to do is pay as you go. So it is a permanent basis. It's $1.25 a minute. And uh, like I said, you pay for credits, you lock in your phone number, and then your account is set. And then it's auto built as you use the agent. And um, just so that way you kind of pay as you go. You don't have to pay $99 anymore. You don't have to pay $199 anymore. Uh, one of the big differences between those two plans were the notifications. Now you guys can get text and email notifications uh, directly to your phone and your email. And it's included in you know, every quote IQ tier, like I said, no additional subscription necessary. So one of the big things that we changed in here is just, you know, how much you could change your agent. We also added in a bunch of different voices here. Uh, we got Burt Reynolds voice. Uh, mine is called Miss Walker, who's very charming and Southern, which you guys are going to see here in a bit. Uh, we have a cowboy voice in here. Uh, we've got some other voices that are just more normal, but we added in a bunch of different options with regards to voices. We also have new style customization, so you can edit your, you know, the, the speed at which your AI talks. You can edit the stability and the similarity just to kind of give you a little bit of extra um, tweaking, if you will. The last one is my favorite, though. This is the knowledge base. So we added uh, in, a, in a way for your AI agent to essentially have a set of information that it operates off of. So within the knowledge base, you can set your services, you can set your company name, the owner name, but you can also add in URLs, you can add in files, you can even create text in here, which is gonna be the knowledge base of your AI agent that they're gonna be able to reference and they're gonna be able to answer uh, questions uh, based on whatever knowledge you feed it. So for me, I fed it my website and um, you know, from there, it's going to copy everything on my website. It's going to know all that information. And whenever it speaks to a customer and it answers questions, it's going to be able to speak intelligently to everything that is on my um, website. So if you guys need a website, by the way, be sure to check out Budget Built Sites. It's uh, built within Quote IQ. It's built by Quote IQ. So it's a great way to go. It's affordable. It's absolutely free to generate the site. And from there, all you have to do is pay hosting. So 
Now that we have our agent completely set up, I wanted to kind of walk you guys through what that looked like. There's a bunch of customization in there, as you saw. You're pretty much ready to go after that point. So we have a couple tabs here. First and foremost, we have our call tab. This is going to kind of give us a summary of any calls that came through, what the customer's name was, the caller ID, the phone number, the email. We can then click through here. It gives us some additional options, um, including a summary, uh, the caller's intent. Um, details about the call, as well as we have transcripts here. So you can actually see, you know, the agent answered what the, what the caller said from there. We've got data from the call that the agent pulled in. So first name, last name, email, phone number, um, address, as well as, you know, state and, and lead source as well. And you can just go ahead and add that directly into a contact within Quote IQ once these calls do come through. We have an evaluation for these calls. This is one of the coolest features in my personal opinion. It's another benefit from what was in the previous iteration of this feature. Uh, this now allows you to see whether or not the call was a success or a failure. Previously, a lot of spam calls would find their way uh, in here. If you guys rank on Google, you know that you're going to get calls from SEO, from you know people pretending to be Google, uh, from people trying to build websites for you. Just all kinds of different people are going to give you calls and try to solicit you for things. The AI can now know uh, if it is a spam call versus if it is a credible customer. And I'll break that down here in just a second. You guys can see we have one successful call and we have six failed calls. The way it's going to judge whether or not a call is failed or not is on a couple different criteria. First and foremost is on how long the call was. And secondly, on how much information was given. If not all the information was given by the caller in order to either make a contact or basically, you know, do a quote off of, it's going to mark the call as failed. And you guys can always go through all these and check all these if you'd like, but we sorted them this way. So that way you guys aren't going to be notified every single time that you're getting spam calls. I'll be honest. I rank really high on Google. I'm getting at least like five to six spam calls per day on people calling, not because they want to be a customer of my business, just because they want to solicit me for uh, whatever the case may be. Now, if you guys previously had virtual call team, you can click this legacy logs here. This is going to pop up all of your previous uh, calls from the older version of uh, virtual call team. So as you guys can see, this is the new feature here. What we're going to do now is I'm actually going to call my agent. So you guys can see uh, another thing is we have, you know, we're going to have the ability in the future to add additional agents. We're looking to build an outbound agent as well as a, a website agent that can essentially sell for you on your website. So those are two things that we're going to be working to build in the future. Uh, but essentially, we're going to have the ability in the future as well to add additional agents. Currently, you can only add one. And when we have the ability to add additional agents, obviously, you're going to need more than one number uh, for that agent. So there's a number. We also have billing metrics here. This is uh, how the billing works. And yeah, so with that being said, let's go ahead and call the virtual call team agent right now. And that way I can show you guys exactly how she is. Now, this particular agent, I did have a little bit of fun with. Uh, I did make her to be like I said, an older Southern lady. And uh, I had her say like all kind of the names, the pet names, and just, I added all of her criteria within the AI to kind of make it a little bit more fun. So with that being said, let's go ahead and give her a call real quick. Hey there, darling. This is Glenda with LA Pressure Washing Pros. How can I help you today? Hey, Glenda, I'm just giving you a call. I wanted to see if you guys did any commercial cleaning, specifically on building pressure washing as well as roof pressure washing. Well, honey, you called the right place. We absolutely do commercial cleaning. Both building pressure washing and roof washing are our specialties. For those commercial roofs, we use a special soft wash system that won't damage your roof, but still gets it nice and clean. Now, so I can help you better, what's your first and last name, Sugar? Uh, Billy Bob. Thank you, Billy Bob. And what's a good phone number where we can reach you if needed? 985-313-6752. I've got that down, 985-313-6752. And what's the best email address where we can send you a copy of the quote once we work that up for you? BillyBob at gmail.com. Thank you for that, Billy Bob. Now, could you please share your street address, city, and zip code where this commercial building is located? And you mentioned you're interested in commercial building pressure washing and roof washing. Is there anything else you'd like us to include in the quote? Uh, what other services do you guys offer for commercial properties? For commercial properties, we offer quite a range of services, honey. Besides the building pressure washing and roof washing you mentioned, we also do concrete cleaning for parking lots and walkways, gutter cleaning, and even holiday lighting installation if you're looking to spruce up your business for the season. We've worked with many commercial clients like Our Lady of the Lake and Ditch Witch in Gonzales. Is there any of those additional services you'd like included in your quote? Now, perfect. Just one last question. Where did you hear about LA Pressure Washing Pros? Uh, Tinder. 
Well, that's certainly a first. I appreciate your honesty, though I'm surprised we popped up there. Most folks find us through Google, word of mouth, or our local advertising. I've got all your information now, Billy Bob. We'll put together a quote for the commercial building pressure washing and roof washing for your property on Main Street. Is there anything specific about the building I should know about, like how many stories it is or any particular areas that need special attention? Yeah, there, it's a three-story building, and uh, we do have some oil stains that I'd like to get up in the parking lot. Thank you for sharing that, honey. A three-story building, we can handle that just fine. And those oil stains in the parking lot, we got special treatments for those too. Oil can be stubborn, but our team knows just how to tackle it. I'll make sure to note all this in your quote. The owner will review everything and get back to you soon with pricing and available dates. Is there anything else you'd like to know about our services while I have you on the line? That'll be it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome, Billy Bob. We truly appreciate you reaching out to LA Pressure Washing Pros today. You should be receiving that quote in your email soon. And if you have any questions once you get it, don't hesitate to call us back. We look forward to helping make your commercial property shine like new. You take care now, sugar, and have yourself a blessed day. Okay, so as you guys can see, we had a little bit of fun when I when it came to the generating of, of this AI. Uh, so you guys don't have to have as much fun. You can keep it more professional than I did. I think one of the beautiful things is, like I said, there's a knowledge base now. The AI receptionist is able to speak intelligently to the things that are actually going on within our business. And um, so she's actually able to answer questions now. Previously, it was more so like, hey, it answered the phone. It got all the pertinent data, and then you were able to get back to the customer. Now, like I said, she's able to actually get information from the customer. So she's going a little bit deeper. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to check out Virtual Call Team. It'll be linked uh, down below, at least Quote IQ will. All you need is a, a subscription and uh Every tier gets virtual call team for uh, for free. All you pay is for the usage, obviously. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other, any other suggestions on how we can make this feature better, please let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, but until next time, hustle hard. Get that money, baby. Peace.